an uphill battle from start to finish. Matthew Speck beat cancer and decided to celebrate his remission by running the marathon and raise money for a charity near and dear to his heart. 2022 was a big year for Matthew Speck. In March, he got engaged to his now wife, Maggie Hanna. In May, he ran his first half marathon. And just a few weeks later, his life took an unexpected turn. My wife had noticed like lymph nodes were kind of going on my neck. Um, kind of just thought it was a cold and then went in for an ultrasound and got the results. As soon as the results were in, he sent them to Maggie, who's a physician. She was the one who delivered the news. And she came over and was pretty much the one who told me I was, I likely had cancer. Matthew was diagnosed with stage two Hodgkin's lymphoma. Immediately, he started treatment, going through six months of chemotherapy. Just months after going into remission, he decided it was time to get healthy again and started training for the 2023 Pittsburgh Half Marathon. At that time, I could probably run a mile, and then I'd be like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I can't do anymore. Um, so it's definitely like been a big focus for me to kind of get my health back to where I was before. After finishing the race, he decided to go big for 2024. This year, Matthew will run the full Pittsburgh Marathon, all while raising money for Young Adult Survivors United, a nonprofit that helps young people during and after their cancer treatments. It's a cause that hits close to home for Matthew. Yeah, that's, I think, a gap that's kind of out there for younger people who have, um, you know, that type of cancer, a certain type of cancer or disease. Um, you know, they don't always have that kind of support. In just two years, he went from barely being able to run a mile to now, in less than a week, preparing to run 26.2. It's kind of just trying to move forward, you know, after you go, th go through something difficult. Um, it's hard, but, um, you know, there's definitely going to be a path, you know, for the future for you. And if you want to donate to Young Adult Survivor United, you can do so over on our website, WTAE.com. For now, reporting on the North Shore, Ava Rash, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.